Welcome to your general weekly reading. I'm Robin Carline from Robin's Authentic Wellness. And this is for the week of the 22nd to the 29th or 8th, 29th, 28th. So we're doing the situation, the action and the outcome. So let's see what we receive. You already have, oh, okay. All right. Oh my. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay. I love these so much. <laughs> so we are in the Sagittarius energy starting today. So in that fire energy. Now you don't have any fire energy in here, but you want to be harnessing that. So with your first card, you have the queen of cups. So with that queen of cups, it's that very trusting energy that very intuitive energy that that energy that knows exactly what's going on you feel very deeply on what direction that you want to move in so with the situation and with it being the the last full week of November I think there's a couple days after that couple days but with that but with this last week and as we're transitioning from the Scorpio energy into the Sagittarius energy you really want to be thinking about you you really want to be putting forth everything that is important to you and finding out what it is that needs to really get gone so you can make room for 2022 because next week we're going to be moving into December and that's going to be the last month of the year of 2021. So for your action, you have looking at things from a different perspective. So that is that mindset. That is exactly, and that's that major arcana. So that's coming up as a bigger shift for your action. So looking at things from a different perspective, looking at your mindset, looking at how you're shifting, what it is that you can leave behind in, I mean, there is the, even with that queen of cups, they're like, I'm, I, what I was getting was like self-doubt, self-worth kind of things, really leaving that behind. In this fire energy, you want that fierceness. You really want to show up for yourself. You want to really move. And it's not the word that I was looking for. You really want that passion. You really want to like dive into your passions. And that like being very directional in where you're going. And with that air energy, the air energy that represents throat chakra, that represents your third eye chakra, that represents your crown chakra. So that is like incredible intuitiveness. So really paying attention to your intuition, really paying attention to where you want to be at. And you know that, you know where you want to be. It's just I just, I really feel this from a lot of people is that, and I mean, gosh, probably me too, where there's things that we kind of ignore and we kind of just allow to pass by because it could, it could take maybe a lot more effort to put into it to get whatever it is that we want gone to actually leave. So really think about that really think about the different perceptions, the different ways that you could communicate, the different intuitive ways or the support that you are receiving from your third eye, from source, from God, from the universe, from spirit. So your outcome card. This is the eight of cups. <laughs> so the outcome card, this is moving away. This is moving away. So we just had that amplified energy of the full moon in Taurus. So we have that gorgeous amplified energy of the eclipse. So we are receiving support, receiving support from the eclipse. Now looking at these cups, they're all standing up. They're all full, but there are some opportunities that 
you may want to say, hey, you know what? I'm moving in a different direction. So there's some things that can come out and look so good to you or be presented so good to you, but there's something that you're so passionate about. There's something you're so passionate and you know that that's the direction you wanna go into. So really consider that because there's, there's all of this support and how this is laid out. The Queen of Cups, that intuitive, that deep trust, that knowing. So take those words and then there's the hanged man, which is change of perception, the change of communication, the change of how you're receiving or how you're listening more and how you're receiving all of this information from source, from God, from spirit, from the universe, okay? So this is all for you. And then you have moving away, moving in a different direction. So there's something that you're just not feeling that you are aligned with anymore. And it doesn't mean that it's not good stuff. It just means that your passion, your desire lies somewhere else. So whatever that is, whether it's a relationship, whether it's career, whether it is your entrepreneurial business, whatever shifts, it could be small or they could be big and they could be so big that you need to get rid of all of the things that are bogging you down for 2021 and make way for all of this awesome energy that's coming for 2022. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you for showing up for yourself and thank you for your support. Have a beautiful week ahead. Love you. Mwah.